from the Faculty of Science, Engineering and Built Environment. Her thesis is titled Masked Precursors in the Manufacture and Trafficking of Amphetamines. Would you please give it up for Michaela Milanovic? Methamphetamine is the most widely consumed illegal drug in Australia. Or, as it's known on the streets, speed, crystal meth, ice, they're abused for their stimulant properties. Drug abuse which can lead to addiction or death. The problematic usage of amphetamines worldwide challenges global initiatives working to interrupt clandestine manufacture and trade. But if the drugs and even the starting materials used to make them are illegal, how are amphetamines still prevalent in society? How are they getting past law enforcement? Well, in the same way your mate walked past you yesterday without you realising, you couldn't recognise them because they were wearing a face mask, a physical concealment. And hiding drugs physically is the most well-known method for drug smuggling. But did you know that drugs can be hidden chemically? This is known as masking. As seen in several international seizures, Masking is achieved by attaching groups to the illicit compound. This modifies the chemical structure just enough that targeted analyses performed by law enforcement are not likely to find any matches to an illegal compound. Which poses the question, what new means of masking might be utilised that can evade detection and bypass legislation? For my PhD, I've teamed up with Victoria Police to look at new methods of chemical concealment. I investigate what simple changes can be made to the chemical structure of illegal compounds to produce novel masked entities. Preparation of nitrogen mask compounds have already been well reported, yet there has been no forensic investigation into the oxygen masked species, nor has there been any investigation into the doubly masked species, or if the oxygen and nitrogen might be masked simultaneously by the formation of a heterocycle, which would further suggest that cyclization itself could be used as a method of masking, where a range of three to eight membered rings with the appropriate substituents could be formed and then opened to reveal the desired illicit compound. So I'll perform a range of cleavage reactions to determine how easy it is to revert to the precursor or perhaps convert directly into the desired drug. I've discovered an entirely new family of precursor compounds that aren't currently restricted. The cool thing about this masked substance, it can be reverted back to the illegal precursor by heating it with vinegar or converted directly into the desired drug using, get this, reagents that can be purchased online without question. This research has the potential to influence state and national drug policy and legislation. My masked substance and a number of others have been useful for Victoria Police, expanding databases and providing detailed information on new masking methods and novel precursors, revealing this grey area and unmasking chemical concealment.